It's that time of the year again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making a delicious sorrel fruit recipe. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements, it will be listed down below in the description box. Now here is the first step. Now here is what you will need for the first step. I'll be using some water. I also have here some dry sorrel. It's a product from Jamaica. It contains four ounces, which is 112 gram. I really would have loved to use the fresh one, but where I'm living, it's very hard to get the fresh one. Now let's place our water to the side and to a strainer, I am going to empty my sorrel. We're gonna give it a quick rinse before we put it to boil. Now, after I finish rinsing my sorrel petals, I'm going to add it to my pressure pot. Yes, I will be using my pressure pot because my sorrel petals are dry. I, f I feel that the best way to wake this up and give it some life is by putting it in the pressure pot. Now, after adding the petals to your pot, you're going to go in with some water. We're then going to allow the water to come up to a hot temperature, boiling temperature. After the temperature rises, you're going to cover your pressure pot and you're going to allow this to pressure for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're going to grab yourself a strainer and a bowl. We're then going to empty all the sorrel petal and also the liquid from the pot to the strainer. And this is how it should be looking when you're done pressuring it. Now you're gonna grab yourself a spatula or a spoon, whatever works for you, and we're just going to press it against the strainer. We're trying to get all the liquid out of the petals. Now, if you were about to use the freshly picked sorrel, then this is the exact method I would use. Pressuring it, squeezing the liquid out, and you know, so on. Now here is a look at what we will be using today. As you can see, some of the petal passed through the strainer. You're just gonna scrape that out, add it to the bowl. We are going to be using some of that as well. Now go ahead and continue squeezing the rest of the liquid out of the sorrel. And after you're done, we're going to proceed to the next step. Now after extracting the liquid, this is what you will be left with. This is what we are going to boil as well as a few other ingredients. For other ingredients I will be using is some golden and some black raisin, some maraschino cherry, some prune, and in this the container I have some liquid from the maraschino cherry. I also have here some red wine, sugar, and a few cloves salt one cinnamon stick and two bay leaf i will also be using a little bit of mixed essence now let's head over to the stove now to my pot i'm going to go in with my sorrel liquid i am also going to go in with my wine my essence and my clove cinnamon stick and salt followed by my bay leaf and a liquid from the maraschino cherry now here I'm gonna go in with all of my fruits and then I'm gonna go in with my sugar. After everything is added to the pot, you are then going to mix to make sure that all the ingredients are combined. You also wanna make sure that the sugar is melted. Otherwise, if the sugar is settled to the bottom of the pot, it can burn and you know the flavor will be messed up. Now we are going to allow this to continue cooking on low heat. We want the liquid to reduce a bit and everything to be nice and thicken. As we get there, I will show you how and what to look for. Now here's a look when it starts thicken up a bit. And here is the next clip of when it's already thicken up. 
as you can see the consistency on the spoon is not too liquidy and it's not running off that easily now I'm going to turn my stove off and I'm going to allow this to cool down a bit before we proceed to the next step now before we proceed to the next step I am going to remove my bay leaf and I'm also going to remove my cinnamon stick we're not going to throw it out just in case we have a little bit extra fruits we are going to add that back to the fruits and we're just going to allow it to sit in the fruits and infuse a bit more now I'm going to go in here with my hand blender and I'm going to blend everything until I have a nice pureed consistency. And after blending it, this is how it should be looking. Very smooth in consistency. Look at that rich red color. Now if your fruits were to get a little bit thick and hard to work with, all you have to do is add a little bit of wine and just mix it in. And trust me guys, after using my recipe and my method of making sorrel fruit, you will never go back to any other way of making it. Now, look at how delicious this is looking. The color is just so amazing. The texture is just perfect. You already know my sorrel cake recipe is coming soon. <laughs> Now that brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye, and I will see you in my next video.